Hi everyone, uh, my name is Lyric. Welcome back to my channel. So today I would like to do a tarot love message for the sun sign of Aries. I would also like to ask that if you haven't subscribed to my channel to do that at this time. If this message resonates with you, feel free to book your own extended um, love reading in the description box below. Um, if you have any questions about some of the programs that I offer, um, please send me an email. Um, if you have any questions in general, if you're interested in a personal horoscope, send me an email um, and we can talk about that, okay? Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Let's see what is up with Aries. We're going to start with the Divine Feminine. I already shuffled the card, so let's get started. Okay, I'm going to use the Rider weight cards for the connection. Okay. So what I'm already seeing from the Divine Feminine is the ending of a painful, um, it, something of a painful cycle it has ended. Um, you have, you're having a revival going against the grain. So I think that, um, I think it's funny because when I read the title of this card, I think that's what um, the Divine Feminine was doing before, was doing things um, against herself, that she wasn't... Um, responding and reacting in the pattern of who she is that she was causing harm to herself because she was people pleasing because she was um trying to please everyone make everyone else happy but herself and that backfired and now she um had experienced some suffering because of that and some backlash because she what she what she didn't realize was that she was trying to control um situations by giving in to other people's needs, by trying to um, avert situations and trying to, um, you know, uh, what is that called? Uh, damage control. And she didn't realize that she was trying to, by th those behaviors were um, in fact a, a way of her trying to control situations so that she could have certain kinds of outcomes. And that didn't work for her because what she was doing was um, trying to overtake someone's sovereignty, someone else's divine will. And that's, in, it's not that, I don't know. See, I don't understand how this goes exactly. Let me see it for a moment. We do not have the ability to manipulate someone else's will. They only, I think that when we do do that, we put harm on ourselves. We in crew like some form of karma or something like we do bad it ends up turning bad on ourselves and so this um divine feminine has learned a powerful lesson like she's learned that um that she was doing all of these things and that she was at fault in these certain areas and she's walked away and put that behind her here with this death card and one plus three is four which is harmony and rest so now she's in rest from that cycle. She also has the two of swords and the ace of cups. Time, be, uh, time being wasted on drama. Like she realizes her mistakes. She realizes that she was trying to control. She realizes that she wasn't seeking her own happiness. That she was trying to find happiness in other people. And she's put that behind her. And she's turning a new leaf. She also has the ace of cups. Which is a new beginning. Which is... Um, uh, I feel safe in your arms. I don't need to panic. So she's realized that her divine masculine isn't going anywhere. That she's made the decision to, in fact, keep moving forward in this connection. That she um, has found her perfect match, if you will. And that her perfect match, they're in union, you guys. That's what I'm getting here. That um, this divine feminine and this um, divine masculine of Aries is in union. So that's really excellent. Um... And we have the principle of gender here underneath the Ace of Cups, which is the polarity, the yin and the yang, the wholeness, if you will. Okay. 
Um, for the Divine Masculine, I have the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Two of Wands. So I didn't notice this, this before, but these two um, energies are in fact mirroring each other here with this Two of Swords um, for the Feminine and the Two of Wands for the Masculine. And um, the Ace of Wands for the Masculine and the Ace of Cups for the Feminine. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, um... The so the divine masculine is also repenting of his past. Like he realizes that um, it says on this card here, it says committed to the dysfunction of this world. I settled. So this divine masculine wasn't um, going for his wishes and desires. This divine masculine was settling for the status quo. He was following what his friends were doing. He was listening to um what his parents wanted for him what his brother wanted for him but not what he wanted for himself and um since being with this divine feminine it's taught him about his wishes and desires and now he knows um about that he knows a little bit more about himself he knows what real happiness is he knows what real love is and he's found the strength to press forward and to um, to seek that out on his own without the assistance of others. For the um, Divine Masculine, we also have the Ace of Wands. I want to love you and no other. Um, like I said, these this these energies are in union at this time. Um, the, the, there is the awareness for both parties that um, that this counterpart is um, in fact their counterpart. Um, there's no other like this person. There's no one um, whom they love or desire as much as they as they do with this person. It's a, an emotional, a physical, and a spiritual connection. It's the Trinity. Um, we also have the Two of Wands. I've got options. I've got to make a choice. And this Divine Masculine is making the choice for his Divine Feminine. For the connection... Um, we have the Magician card, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So um, I feel that this Three of Cups is a celebratory situation here. That um, the, the um, energies are in union and they're celebrating and that it's harmonious and it's ebbing and flowing in a harmonic way. Um, producing a cel cel in our 3D sense, producing celebrations, Okay. I have no idea what it actually produces in the ethers, but it's um, it's it the energy is together and they're in union. Okay, it's it's happiness. Um, it's a happiness frequency. Okay, um, I have the magician card here next to the seven of swords. So um, these um, energies were um, before wrapped around. Um, other they, their energies were pulled in with other people, uh, um, other opinions, um, other interferences, um, trying to find happiness in other people. And because these energies have pulled back and have done some inner work and some healing, they're now um, able to manifest. So and it, and as it appears, this these energies have manifested each other. This divine masculine has manifested this divine feminine, and vice versa. So this is only the beginning for this. The um, I don't know where this energy is going to lead. It's definitely leading the circus here with this Seven of Swords, which is the 3D dimension and going into other places. So we're really happy um, for, for them. And uh, they're committed to change. And um, the Magician card here is... Um, I'm going to pull some clarity on this magician card actually because I am at a loss because it's very broad and it could be anything. So let's um, pull some clarity on this magician card. The chariot card. Okay, so it's um, something um, involving karmic cycles are ending. So um, there, there could have been um, what I'm getting is historic. I always say, I don't say this right, but there's some kind of his, historic trauma is ending with this, um, with the, these um, energies being united. 
um, a cycle of selfishness is ending. And it's a new kind of selfishness. It's a, it's a selfishness that is um, that comes from a place of self-love and self-knowledge. And mainly from a place of self-knowledge. Because we can't have self-love if we don't know who we are. Okay. Anything else? There's kind of a deep reading. Okay. And the strength card. So just letting go of the past, letting go of all those um, uh, historic traumas, letting go of um, people's opinions, letting go of people pleasing, letting go of third party interferences, letting go of, of everything that's not within who they are. Just um, sitting within oneself, that divine self, okay? So let's get some final thoughts. Final thoughts. Okay, I'm so sorry I hurt you. Please forgive me from the Divine Feminine from the past. I promise I'm working on fixing this from the Divine Feminine. And I think, Phil, it relates to the death card. I've always loved you for the connection. I don't feel good enough for you, so I run the Divine Masculine. I may act strong, but I'm not the Divine Masculine. You are the first person that has shown me what real love feels like for the connection. Being with you reminds me of home for the connection. So that's all that I have for this reading. Um, I hope that you loved it. If, it. if it resonates with you, feel free to book an extended reading, though I don't really believe that it needs one. Um, but if there is something that you would like to uh, learn more about, feel free to email me. Uh, if you're interested in any of the um, self-healing um, of the programs that I offer, they're in my description box. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, please email me. Uh, take care. I hope you love this reading.